Norma Ann Chatton, the artful tourist, here at her trailer park studio for TV lesson in conjunction with NAChatton.com, is proud to present today's project, which is a photo ornament made from a floppy diskette. Here's our finished sample right here. We're going to get started by um, talking a little bit about which supplies you're going to need. You can look at the sample and get just about every supply already figured out. You're going to need a floppy diskette that you can recycle and use as a photo ornament. You want a photo. I used two because I did front and back. The photo needs to be cut at about three inches square. You're going to need embellishments like these charms, and I'll give you some tips on where to find those. Ribbon, safety pens, a clip for securing your photo to the project, and then also some type of hanger to hang up your ornament. Let's look at the process of getting started to work. Oh, and you'll need a label maker, and we'll get to that too if you want to use words on your project. First, you'll start with your photos. You want to trim two photos to about three inches square. They can I say about because they don't have to be exact on that, but you'll, I use my Fiskars trimmer because it's got everything lined up for me right on there. So there's one photo, and you'll take it to your floppy diskette, and just use your office supply clip. I usually get these in packs of like six for a dollar at some of the discount stores, and I've clipped that on. On the other side, magic of TV, there you go, I've got a second photo clipped already to the diskette. I do not use glue because I like it to look a little scattered, and this clip is very strong, too, so it's going to hold it really well. The next thing we're going to talk about is embellishing your diskette. For your embellishments, you're, you can use a variety of things. I always say use what you have, use what you can find, use what's inexpensive, put it all together, it's going to look great. Some of the items that I've used are safety pens, and you can find these in colors or silver or gold. I've got um, jump rings, which are great for hanging the charms or safety pens from. And then these little hooks can go at the top or at the bottom to hang something else. I call these keychain hooks. I'm not really sure exactly what they are. We've got ribbon. This ribbon has stars on it, and it's red. Again, it's going to coordinate very, very well with my charm. And there's the charm I'm going to use on this project. It's an apple to signify education because you might remember from the photo, it's a graduation photo. These charms are really fun and easy to locate once you know what to look for. I go to discount stores, flea markets, and I buy these crazy bracelets with these silver tone charms, cut them up, take the charms off, and use them on my projects. There's some more. So it's all different styles and colors. And here's a label maker. I use, I love the Dynamo label maker. I had one of these when I was a kid. It was so much fun. I've also got some of the more advanced label makers, and you're welcome to use any kind you like. You use that to write a word or a name. Get it all created on your label maker. Put that somewhere where it goes in your design. I always look for a place maybe vertically where I can run it beside a person's face. This hole right here is where you're going to secure your charms and your safety pens. You'll put it all together. We'll come right back to the finished project. And in about 10 minutes' time, maybe less, you can put together this really cool hanging ornament with the dangly charms, two-sided, to hang in your home. Give us a gift. It's also, if you use something with a little less lower profile clip right here, you can um, secure this to a scrapbook page, make a greeting card from it, or use it as a magnet with this type of clip or a lower profile clip. Give it a go. Have some fun. Really enjoy playing with art, getting creative, and come to www.nachatton.com for specific instructions and supply lists. And also, be sure and send us a picture of what you make. Thanks. Bye.